The crisis in the Labour Party seems unending as some members are accusing the national chairman, Mr. Julius Aburi, and the national president of the Nigerian Labour Congress, Joe Ajero, of allowing their differences get in the way of their responsibilities to the working class. The group under the umbrella of the Lagos Assembly of Veterans and Trade Unionists said that Abure and Ajero have expended time and energy on who will control the party. The group demanded the immediate resignation of Abure and Ajero for failing in their mandate. How does the party intend to move away from this crisis? Is there any solution? Well, for more on this, I'm joined now in the studio by Iken Azomchine. He is a former governorship aspirant in Anambra State and also the obedient general for a new Nigeria movement. Thank you for coming to the studio. How are you today? Thank you, madam. I'm glad to be here in your studio in Abuja. Wonderful. So, the Labour Party. <laughs> a lot has been happening of, of, uh, of recent and everyone has been watching. Um, from what we see so far, can we say that the Labour Party is on its way into oblivion? <laughs> well, um, from the obedient perspective, I must be very honest because I'm obedient. I, can, I cannot speak for the Labour Party. But I think that the Labour Party must trade with caution because um, the coming of Pitobi has skyrocketed the ability of the Labour Party to be a formidable opposition in Nigeria and they shouldn't play with that. You have six million obedience plus myself and many more who are waiting to be directed by Labour Party. So we are worried and that's why people like me are speaking out. The NLC and the Labour Party must respect the agreements they signed. They must make sure that a proper convention is organized from the world level to the, the state level to the federal level. And it must be given within the appropriate time. You cannot, you know, <laughs> conduct a, a convention like a mushroom party. Well, talking about the convention, um, they already had it in Anambra State. And um, you're calling, not only you, I think some other people have also called for another convention. How is that going to pan out? You know, are you saying the officials that were elected during that convention, that their positions are null and void? Several members of the NWC, does that constitute, a, a, I mean, a credible convention at NEWI? Where are the, the facilities? I, I was... A former, uh, I was a member of the National Convention Planning Committee of the PDP severally. Convention is a time for the party loyalists to be given time to converge, to embrace each other, to showcase the, the power of the party. You cannot, okay, for example, they shifted uh, venues in, in less than a week, three times. This shows that these guys are jokers. Well, the, the, the Labour Party presidential candidate in the 2023 um, presidential election, Mr. Pito, he's been also quite uh, vocal about this. He was speaking some uh, days uh, ago and he, he said something very revealing or made some revealing remarks. And I quote, let me quote him, he said, when you go into a city, try to change them, live with them, fast with them. In the end, you can't come out and even wash the sand that is in your shoes. It's, you know, that's, that's quite damning. Does that, does that tell us where Mr. Pitobi is headed? You know, I don't speak for His Excellency Pitobi, but I can tell you that Pitobi is in a very difficult position at this moment. It's difficult for you to, you know, to, to, to know what part to take when people you normally should believe in their ability to do the right thing. I don't know who is really foiling what is going on in the Labour Party. If it will be at this level, every Nigerian should be sympathized with him. That man has done a great work of assembling all of us. I mean, you know, I'm not going to sit here in your channel's television to tell you what happened in the 2023 elections. 
people like us, we are organic. We came on board with our monies, with our time, with our life. It's an organic movement. And P2B has been a wonderful leader till now. Look, we are not giving up on the new Nigeria. That's why I'm here. I'm not speaking for the Labour Party. Obedience are in every political party. Even in the APC, it will shock you that there are more obedience there. And we are just waiting for any little opportunity we will have to be able to mobilize this movement that nobody will ever imagine what will happen in 2027. We don't want to speculate, but right. we are positive. Right. Yes, you say that you are not very much interested in the Labour Party, but the Labour Party still gave the obedient movement a platform last year on which to run uh, the presidential election. So it's still an important party. You know, so at this point, you know, what are your expectations from the Labour Party? Do you think that this crisis that is going on will be resolved at all? Sure. Sure. We, we, what we expect from the Labour Party is to go back to the drawing board, conduct an all-inclusive convention that is the norm, and uh, we, everything will fall in place. And I'm sure His Excellency Pitobi will not accept anything that is below a proper convention. But let, don't draw me too much in the Labour Party. Uh, like I said, obedience are in all political parties. We're just looking at our principle, his body language and all whatnot. Obedience, we are more than 12 million obedience that are currently active. And we are not, uh, we, are, we, we will not be put into the Labour Party, bruhaha. We are consolidating and taking the message to the Nigerian people that, look, you are not buying bread cheaper than anybody. Being a Christian or a Muslim does not bring food on your table. So we Nigerians, we must wake up, hold our leaders accountable. Look, look, I was just coming into Abuja. I stood on the traffic for hours. What stops a tramp from running from Kefi to Abuja? People like you can, you can even live in Joss and go to work. So we have to leave political parties alone and go straight to who is going to give us the dividends of democracy. I understand what you're saying. At the same time, you still need a party to run for election. Nigeria is not that advanced and at the stage where an independent candidate can strike it on its own. It still needs a vehicle to um, get to power. I don't like that word of Nigeria is not advanced. Can I tell you? No, politically, in terms of running for office, will do you advance think, it? Who hold will on, advance hold on, it? let me. Do you think that if in 2027, Mr. Pitobi decides to run as an independent candidate. Do you think he can do that? Sure. We just need the, the constitution to be amended, probably to create a room for an independent candidate. But let me tell you something. The problem of Nigeria is not our leaders. It's we, me and you. That's what I see. We have to leave, forget about political parties and look at the individuals consigned. Who will give us the leadership that we are looking for? I am here now because of Iftar. The Muslims, the obedient Muslims are fasting. And so a whole lot of them I met during the obedient campaign called on me. Look, we can't even afford food. So we've mobilized the little we can to visit the villages. You know, for me, I'm a, I'm a low key, you know, I believe in the, the, the lowest people in the society. You know, these are the guys who are suffering, you know, if, if you understand me. Uh, the Labour Party issues, I'm sure His Excellency Peter Obi is on top of the matter, and I'm sure a, a very, very um, all-inclusive uh, convention will soon be in the pipeline, if they want to do the right thing. Obviously, you're a passionate follower of Mr. Peter Obi, and um, some have argued that, yes, he's it's become a phenomenon, not only in Nigeria, but in the whole of Africa. And a, people, a lot of people are watching him. At the same time, everybody that is a political leader needs to be involved in building the party that they would use to get to power. He's seen as someone who is almost like a one-man squad. How would you respond to that? Well, it's safer to be a one-man squad if you allow them to pull you into the political uh, party politics, you might end up losing a base. I think he's a very smart man. He's playing with the rules of, of a, 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 he's not co he's not corrupt. He's not ready to go into the intrigues of political parties. Let me tell you, 
if P2B will fall into the Labour Party crisis, you will hear names, names calling. He wouldn't want to be called names. I know the dangers of, of him not talking or talking. So he should better stay calm. We obedience will talk for him. I'm not speaking for Peter Obido, but I know the troubles of Labour Party. Abure has to decide to obey the constitution of NLC, the agreement of NLC. Let me, uh, let me shock you. The Labour Party um, uh, has written to INEC now that the, the, the original certificate of Labour Party is missing. So, and they've been issued a new one. So why would INEC reject their convention and then at the same time giving them uh, a new certificate of, I mean, what's going on? Somebody is really pinching on the structure that is threatening 2027 and we all know where that is headed and we have to just allow things fall out. The Director General of the Obidati 2023 presidential election, Mr. Aki Oshuntoku, has also uh, spoken about this and to him he said that the Labour Party is behaving like other political parties in Nigeria. And so that uh, implies that he and the labor movement thought that they were coming to a party that would be different from the People's Democratic Party and the All Progressives Congress. Is this a fair assessment of uh, what is going on? Well, we know that the Labour Party is a beautiful bride. And when you marry a beautiful woman, you have to make sure you have what it takes to keep her. So we are, we are not unaware of those intruders that are ready to you know, reduce the strength of the Labour Party. But we, we, are, we are confident that we will get out of this. You are confident that another national convention and congresses will hold? There must be a solution. His Excellency is capable. If that does not occur, what's the next steps? Well, or what are the next Mr. Steps? Pito Obi knows the answer. Mr. Obito Obi knows yes. the answer. For you, as an obedient, what would you like to see? Because you're very much invested in this entire journey of trying to create a new Nigeria. The new Nigeria has no party. Anywhere the leader goes, we follow. A new Nigeria has no party? Yes, so no party. you're confident that in 2027, even without a party, the obedient movement... There will be a party. Okay. There will be a party. Just allow the, the, the movement to... I mean... We are hoping and we are praying that we will fly the Labour Party ticket. If our leader moves anywhere, we will follow. The obedient movement is what we are consolidating. We are moving around telling Nigerians, look, you are now buying bread for how much? You are buying fuel for how much? Let's forget about party policies and concentrate on Nigerians. The new Nigeria is what we are looking for. And we can only get it through a leader like Peter Obi. You see... Apart from the political party, so now in, in Labour, there is the Lamidi Papa faction, there is the Julius Ab Abure faction, and then there is the um, Joe Ajero faction. Um, yes, it is a party that they are trying to you know, take control of. And you say that it's not important. But even if you go um, with the Obidia movement and set up another, you know, a congregate, there is always tussle among people when people are fighting for power. You do not think that if you come up with your own institutional organization, we will see similarly what's happening uh, within the Labour Party occur there. I think the Labour Party issue is not an unsolvable issue. It is solvable and I'm sure our principle is on top of the matter. We obedience, we are not allowing anybody to distract us in the pursuit of the new Nigeria, like I just told you. I've just traveled to Bauchi and Joss to meet the obedience who are fasting. We are concerned about the Nigerian people that are suffering right about now. We are not, you, you see, Labour Party knows what to do. Abure and co knows what to do. It's, these are just, you know, you cannot, move around Nigeria talking about the new Nigeria, telling people that Labour Party, Labour Party is taking a very dangerous step at this moment because the whole country is looking at Labour Party to be the formidable opposition. And don't be surprised that there are some big ants on the side that are looking for the collapse of the Labour Party. And I advise them to trade with caution. I like that you're very, you know, um, gung-ho about the movement rather than the party because it is the people that own the country it is the people that will eventually lead the way and direct their leaders with this in mind 
you're confident that a new Nigeria is possible. How soon do you see that new Nigeria can that I, you yearn, yearn for? Can I tell you why I'm confident? In the early 90s, when I migrated to Belgium, I met people from Rwanda, people from all over the world that migrated, also due to instability in their own countries. Those countries are now stable. And when you talk to them, they will tell you, hold your leaders accountable. Go there, don't shy away. Insist that uh, the, the, the political class gives you the dividends of democracy. And that's why a whole lot of us in diaspora, we have, we have decided that we are not going to keep quiet. When you fly to London, for example, when you are landing, you see the beautiful environment, you see light everywhere. They also travel, they see it. We insist that the Nigerian people are giving the same. And we are not going to allow them whatever games they want to play to bring down Labour Party. We are not going to be part of it. We insist that the Nigerian people are weak. To, to, they have to get up and take over their country. They must take over their country. We are not going to you know, uh, continue to allow the giant of Africa that we know. Even abroad, they tell us you are from Nigeria. What are you doing here? When you answer this question for 25, 30 years, then you have to wake up. Okay. Ike Nazomchine, thank you for coming. My pleasure.